What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here on the Torch Drift beta. They did extend the beta and with the beta extension as you see the, the, the you know sessions played are increasing as we're sitting here. Like as as the beta increased, they did give us some new stuff. As you can see up there, they did give us uh quite a bit of money and uh torque bucks because they decided that they reset all the profiles. We're gonna give you some money to get you guys on the track. Not only did they give us that, they also gave us a new car. Well, they didn't give it to us, I had to buy it. But a 370Z from the Pro 2 um, Formula Drift Championship. Right there, this Lynx 370Z looks really awesome. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't make it like a normal car that you could buy, but they did make it the uh, in the game. So, I did change the tires. It did come with... Um, some of those tires and I switched it to some Nexons just because I like the lettering. So we're gonna mess with this car today, get some freestyle drifting going on in a place that I'm sure a lot of people you know about, but I actually just discovered it at the yard. Uh, maybe get some tandems and stuff. There is some glitching and stuff like that and then maybe before this beta closes, we will build a car up and do a car build that we haven't done since we got some money and some torque bucks just chilling up there. So we're gonna go this is the one thing I did notice. There is a glitch or a bug where it goes into applying updates and then it stays there. So we actually have to close it out and uh, go back into it and uh, we'll be able to get back into the game. It does it every so often, sometimes it doesn't do it. So we're going to go drifting. Welcome back, Evil Rabbit 07. We got a, uh, it looks like we have Ocean Drive Western Pinch and Cali Bank at the beginning. But we are going to go take this 370Z for a rip at the yard because, well, I didn't even know this place existed. I never really explored, but uh, it is kind of cool how it um, is in this game. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this, but uh, it's new to me. So we're going to rip it this way. We're going to change our gear. There's a nice parking lot back here, which is really good for getting very long drifts, except for if you tag the curb like that. So it's pretty cool cool to see this I actually did notice it I mean if you guys have noticed it before let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys noticed that this was here but I also did notice that there's a giant skid pad like in the back side of the map as we uh, try not to wreck our beautiful 370z the sound on 370z is kind of uh, something to be had but you know it is okay we did get a new car I wish they would have made the car so that we could tune it and make like our own and not just the FD car. Maybe they'll do that in the full release, but there's a giant skid pad back here. So this is kind of where I went to get my like Yokohama sponsorship for the drifting for 500 meters because uh, it's big, it's open. You don't have to just keep doing donuts like you would at say Cali Banks. There's a little jump drift there. But basically I just pretty much drifted around this section. So. It is kind of cool. I did not know that there was this, this freestyle section back here. If I would have known this, I would have probably used this in uh, other times. But we found it now, so when the game fully comes out, we will be able to do this. The rabbit over there is thirsty. So, there's a lot of clicking in the background, you guys don't notice. It's, uh, the rabbit chilling next to me in the office. He's uh, a bit thirsty right there and uh, chowing down his water. So, do apologize for uh, the clicking there. But So, it is kind of cool to have this place back here. So, we're going to go back to the uh, other races and see if we can get some tandems with this car and see what we can do. Alright, so we are back in the game after the uh, little uh, glitch that we had. So we're back here. Welcome back, you have seven. So I figure we will probably just hit a ocean drive right now. So like I said, they did change some things around. They uh, changed it as well. When you're in the chase, you can now get points when you're wall riding or close to a wall, which gives you the ability to get even more points at the chase. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's definitely different. Hey, we're, we're actually not against another one of these 370Zs. Every time I've been doing this, I've been going against another 370Z. So this time we got somebody else. So we can see if we can't get a good uh, good lead run here. They did fix, it seems like, the FPSs. 
because uh, I haven't really had any issues since the update came out. We are way off our clip, so since this update and beta extension, where I haven't really had any issues uh, with FPS, but they also did that. You can lose points if you lost drift. This is a very bad run. So, don't have SPS issues, but um, I'm having normal driving issues in this car. This car, unfortunately, can't upgrade it, so it only has like aftermarket um, angle kit. He actually didn't beat us by much. So, the steering angle is not like my pro cars that I had. So, there is that little bit of an issue that needs to be fixed on another car that we need probably need to build but like I said you can get so I'm gonna come all the way out here and I'm gonna get points for the close call now I am too far away from him to get tandem points but I can still rake in drift points by doing close calls so it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing if you're getting outrun you can still run a good line and get points at the on the on the walls uh, I know we didn't beat him here, but so I didn't do this by much. I feel like we could do this again and get another good run. So that's an advantage in itself that you can actually get points even if you're too far back for running your own good line, which in FD, if you're getting run away from, they still tell you to run your line and still make a good line. Because if he's cutting corners and all that stuff, you're going to get points and better points than he is anyways. So I'm going to try this one one more time, and then we'll probably switch up to Cali Banks. But I wanted to bring this episode out. Oh, man. Somebody's rocking the slap train, G35. So with the money that everybody was given for this beta extension, a lot of people are rocking pro cars. A lot of people are rocking the special cars. I break that way too late. I totally missed that in a clip. But I'm going to try and stretch this out here. So a lot of people have really high cars now which is really cool to see everybody rocking you know either fd cars or special cars or pro level cars which is you know kind of nice that they gave us all that money um because it cleared the accounts again so you know it gave me the ability to buy this car and try it out right away as well as now i have the ability to build another car if i really want to how the select change you think god 17 you didn't do too good so i think we'll be able to take a w on this one if we uh keep a decent uh, chase here oh boy okay come on so they didn't add the uh, if you pass the lead car you get points again they didn't add that back so if the lead car crashes though they do lose points because their loss of drift so he's all over the place I'm trying to follow his line to get points but I can't. it's a very hard line to follow I should have just run the wall to get points on the wall, which is probably going to be right there. Get some more points on the board. Hopefully we didn't just lose this run because of our follow. Kind of got thrown off of it from the start right there. Uh, but I still still think we will take that win. Yeah, we'll take that win. So we are going to go to Cali Banks. and I try and exit this, it may reset me. So we may have to reset it, but we'll find out. That is one thing that I'm, I have reported and will report more. If it does it again, right there. Applying updates, and it'll just sit here. So we're going to reset it again. And then we will tr we'll go to Cali Banks. That's the only unfortunate thing going on right now is when you leave the track, it does that. But with that being said, there's still a lot of cool things in this game that you know they've implemented. Like I said, I'm probably going to do a full build on a car. I mean, buy some pro cars. Um, I got some money. I got some money to burn. So we're going to try and uh, hit up Cali Banks and see if we have any FPS issues because we used to have FPS issues at Cali Banks when we were trying to do tandem runs. So we're going to try and do it now. It looks like we got that guy again. So I don't know if he's an, if he's an actual player or if he's an AI or what, but it does have a custom player name, so it makes me think it's a real player. But we will find out here, so we're going to initiate in. High on the bank, trying to get as many close call points as we can. Just a little wall tap, which gives us extra points. That was actually a really, really good wall run. No, don't lose it now. Apparently, we did. Uh, let's see right there, loss of drift. So, I'm losing a lot of points with that. 
and we have to kick it back in in order to keep gaining points again, and I am in third gear, so I'm in the wrong gear. But that loss of points thing for loss of drift is actually very interesting, and it's kind of a cool thing for people that aren't running good lead runs, because um, their lead runs are going to be lower. We still did take a very, very good win on that one in the lead because of that a pretty decent wall run. So we're going to try and finish this one off and get a good chase. Hopefully we don't completely block the chase. The dude is doing a faint entry. We initiate in. A little bit lower than I want to be, but we're still gaining our tandem points. I want to be up on that wall, but we're still gaining our tandem points. So we're still good. Cut that angle a little bit. Try to get some close proximity. And there's some, some out. Try to initiate. So right there, we did still get a little bit of FPS issue, but I'm going to run this bank here to try and get some more points on my chase. So that, like I said, that is a big thing, and it's actually uh, saved me numerous times. Probably saved me in this run too. It did. That last little stretch got me that extra points, but I was still ahead on the lead. But I will take that win. And uh, this is one thing. You can take a look at your lead run. A few opponents chase. Now, that actually hasn't worked for me yet. So I don't know if it's going to sooner or later, but that was actually a really, uh, really decent wall run with a wall tap. See, it won't let me view opponent's chase, but I can view my own chase run without the other car, which is kind of weird. But, um, so they did change that a little bit. So we're going to try and run Cali Bank one more time. So they changed the uh, replays a little bit where you can go back, view your lead run, view your chase run. I'm assuming once the game is fully released, the view your opponent's chase will be there. And hopefully the other car will be there. Now we're getting going after an E46. Okay. So, definitely a lot of cool changes that they made with extending this beta for one for another week or so. Because uh, a lot of people were saying that, hey, I you know, the beta was supposed to be closed, but I, I, I'm still playing it. And then they dropped the update that says we've increased the beta for another week or so. And because we've reset all the accounts, here's a lot of money for you to get you guys back on track. So, very, very cool thing for the game that to do for the creators here of Short Drift big thank you to them for allowing me to continue bringing these videos to you guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this game and uh, can't wait for the full release to come out. Yeah. The full release of the game to come out. Um, hopefully it's still for a October, November release. From what I've heard it still is. We definitely got locked on this one. So we're going to try and just get a good chase to end this episode off. So you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift on the channel until the beta ends. Let me know down in the comment section down below. I will be doing a full build on a car, probably an E46, since uh, I haven't actually ever built an E46 in this game. So why not build up a car that I haven't raced or built on yet? That's a very horrible case. So, like I said, we've got some new cars, we've got some new, some new uh, features in our chasing, as well as some free money and free stuff, and some frame rate lag. So until next time, guys, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short video on the updating that I have found with the Torque Drift beta being extended. That's why the videos have not been coming out, because I thought the beta ended. And then uh, I was like, oh, no, it didn't end. So that's why I'm bringing you guys more Torque Drift content here on the channel. You guys seem to like it. So, you know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be found in the description box below. Stay tuned to the channel for more from the beta as well as the release when it comes out. I'll let you guys know more info about when it's going to be coming out. When I find out, I will let you guys know. So until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. I lost horribly. So I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys 